beautiful people, welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be sitting down and going through all this 21 days of beauty sale. And I like to take these videos and kind of break them down day by day. That way I can give you guys the highlights of what I would or wouldn't purchase, what I think is worth the price at a really good value. And then also to the flip side of that, of course, I want to tell you guys, you know, items that I have tested, if I don't like them, why I don't like them, and you know, just overall what I wouldn't, wouldn't purchase from this sale. And now if all of that sounds good to you, give me just a second and we are going to jump over to the details. But for anybody that's been here before, you know that I like to pause my videos right at the beginning and just take a second, a really brief second, and introduce myself. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Again, if you've never been here, and I do upload three new videos a week. They go out Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And my videos usually go up right around 7, 7.30 a.m. here in good old northern Michigan. So if you're looking for, you know, that bright early morning content, something to watch before work, before school, um, or just before you want to get your day started, it's definitely a good place to be. Again, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I would love it if you'd want to subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. And then, of course, for anybody that hasn't heard it yet, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would go follow me over on Instagram. I am desperately trying to get to 10,000 followers so I can get the swipe up feature over there. So for anybody looking for a little bit more of me outside of YouTube, um, Instagram for me is just where I live out my day-to-day -day life. It's where, you know, in the Insta stories, I like to do like unboxings. I like to do the weird little like filter things with you guys. I do makeup updates over there. And just for me, Insta stories is a fun way to kind of encapsulate my day-to-day, -day, what's going on, video updates, that sort of thing. And then for my feed on Instagram, I really love doing plus size fashion. I love doing makeup IGTVs, makeup photos. Just overall, I just like to use the feed to kind of showcase my life, whether it's my outfit or my eyeshadow. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I love using it as kind of a fun artistic type outlet. And yeah, I would just, I would greatly appreciate it again if you'd follow me over there. Everything will be linked down below. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's video, which is also something we need to mention um, in terms of my uploads, because normally my videos, as I just said, go up Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And this video I'm actually uploading on Sunday, August 30th. And that's just because that's the first day of the sale. But it was just really important to me that I try to get you guys this information or as much information as I could um, as quickly as possible. So, you know, I know it's going to mess up the upload schedule. Obviously, it came a day early. And hopefully, if everything goes smoothly, my next upload will be on Wednesday, then Friday. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. That way, you're not looking for, you know, a Monday upload. This one right here is going to serve as my Monday upload. Now, getting into the actual items that are for sale, I'm just going to start off on day one, which is Sunday, August 30th. And I'm just going to work my way through day by day, giving you guys any highlights, thoughts, opinions, so on and so forth. So again, starting off day one, August 30th, and I have to lead in with none other, okay, none other than my Precisely My Brow. I am wearing this currently in the shade 3.5, and these are going to be on sale for $12. And oh my God, you guys, for $12, this pencil is so freaking nice. And obviously, in full disclosure, I want you guys to know, I did receive this pencil in PR, and I have received PR from Benefit Now for probably four or five-ish months. I also think it's important to note on the flip side of that, that I have purchased this pencil on my own as well, whether it was from Ulta um, or Benefit or Nordstrom's, like one of those websites, I have purchased it on my own. And honestly, to be able to get that for $12, I just think it's a fantastic price point because the closest one to it, I'm trying to think, I wanna say the closest pencil to that on the drugstore side of things that I really enjoyed more recently uh, was the one from L'Oreal, their brow stylist definer. And those I think are right around like eight, nine, 10-ish dollars, somewhere in that range. So don't get me wrong, do I think that you have to have this? No, but I just think for the price point, it's a really good time to test it out, see if it works for you. And also on day one, they have a diamond or a platinum level exclusive purchase. Uh, you can get the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray for half off, which is gonna retail for $16.50. And you guys, this setting spray is fantastic. It's more of a matte leaning setting spray, but it does a great job at really locking in your makeup, really pressing everything together. And what I really like about it is it's just the perfect amount of everything kind of coming together, pressing all the layers together without being overly mattifying and really stripping you down or making your skin feel tight or uncomfortable. And so, you know, even though it is just a diamond or a platinum perk, I still want to put it out there because it is a fantastic spray. I really enjoy it. I've used it a lot. But anyways, moving on to Monday, August 31st, um, there are, it looks like five different items for sale on this day. And the first thing, I just want to throw it out there. Okay, I'm not trying to like start nothing, but the first item it shows is half off the Beauty Blender Beauty Cleanser Solid. And it looks like they're going to retail anywhere from $8 to $22.50. And my biggest issue, okay, for those of you that don't know, these are basically like round little, like little soaps, okay, little bars of soap. And you can use them to clean your beauty blenders or your sponges, your makeup sponges on. And of course, everyone's going to have their own opinion on this. So, you know, I, I get it if you've had a different experience, but I would never, okay, hear me, never spend $8 to $22.50 
on a little bar of soap just to clean my sponge. And I say that as someone who literally cleans her sponge, okay, every single day. Say it with me, every single day. I take my sponge, this is the one I used today from Kaleidos, and I take it on a little Yardley bar of soap. Yardley, which is $1.25 for a big ass bar of hand soap. And I get right in there, I clean it, I lather it. And this is also an item, by the way, that you can get everywhere. Like it's not some exclusive, gotta get it on Alta, gotta get it on Sephora kind of thing. Uh, it's like a buck, buck 25. You can find it at Walgreens, you can find it at Meyer, you can find it at Walmart. Hell, I, hell, I've even seen it at the damn dollar store, okay? You can find it everywhere. And it comes in, I wanna say like four or five different like scents or flavors. And they're all very nice, all super gentle. And just overall, it's a fantastic cleanser. It doubles, you can use it for your sponges, you can use it for your hands. And it's just one of those products that's very multi-use, very good, very nice quality, and super duper inexpensive. So, you know, just thing number one, I would definitely pass on that, just my two cents. Feel free to sound off in the comments, but for me, it's a no. And then on to two items that I personally plan on picking up. The first one is from Dermalogica. This is their Rapid Reveal Peel. It's gonna be on sale for $42.50, normally $85. And this is basically an at-home peel that comes in 10 little kits, so you can do it 10 times. And I just really enjoy having these, you know, in my bathroom, in my arsenal of masks, because anytime that I start having issues, again, with texture or whatever, I just feel like it's getting a little out of control. These are a great way to always help bring it back into alignment, you know, just like bring my skin back to zero. And as someone that has purchased these, you know, I think I've, this is probably my third or fourth set that I'm gonna buy. And I've just always really enjoyed them. I've never had any real problems with them. So, you know, even though they are a little bit more on the aggressive side, my skin does tolerate them. And, and they're again, they're just very effective. And I think, like, honestly, I would buy them full price at $85, but the fact that they're gonna be on sale for $42.50, bitch, sign me up, okay? Sign me up now, take my money, yes, please. And then the other item that I also plan on picking up is the Grande Cosmetics Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum. And this is gonna be $35, normally $70. And I am actually currently using this brow serum. I've been using it now for about a month or so, which came as a recommendation from Jessica Braun. And which, by the way, I also did a full video um, testing Jessica Braun's favorite makeup. If you haven't seen it, I will link it up here. But uh, this brow serum is actually really good, you guys. I've been trying it and I really like it. I feel like it's helped me fill out like a lot of my brow hair right in this arch. And also on this side, just get a little bit more like fullness near the tail. It's no state secret, you guys. I've talked about this a million times at this point, but I was born with what I'm convinced is like seven little hairs, okay? Just boop, that's all I get. That's all you get for eyebrows. And even though I have brown hair, my eyebrows, they are in fact blonde. And it's a big pain in my ass. And so finding this brow serum, which has not only been really good for growth, but also good for, I feel like getting them to grow in maybe a little bit darker. Honestly, it's just been a godsend for me. I plan on picking up another one, if not two during this sale, because I really want to get my brows to a place where they are fuller, they're fluffier, and we're just naturally, they look a little bit more <laughs> like a brow and a lot less like a knot brow because the knot brow kind of sucks ass. Actually, you know what? Let me go back on that. Okay, let me just, let me just reverse a second. It's not the lack of brow that bothers me. It's that when I want to have brows and like do a full glam, do a full face, whatever, it takes me so damn long because I gotta go in and build the whole thing from scratch as opposed to just like having it there and having this nice little sculpted moment where I can just like, ooh, fluff it in and call it a day. I don't have that option and that's the option I want. So that's what I'm in it for. Moving into the next day, Tuesday, September 1st, this one kind of shocked me because I have tested the Lash Food, it, what is this, Natural Eyelash Enhancer and it's gonna be on sale for $39, regularly 78. And this one really did kind of take me by surprise because I've tried in the past other, you know, eyelash enhancers, eyelash growers, whatever you want to call them. And I actually just picked up another one that I want to try. But this is the only one I've ever tried that was marketed as like a clean eye safe um, option, you know, for anybody with sensitive eyes. And I just wanted to mention to you guys, again, if you're looking at it, if you're considering it, I actually had really good luck with this. I didn't have any adverse reactions or anything like that. And I did see growth from it, which was really nice. Um, the only thing I will say, just as kind of a caveat, is that if you have used other lash enhancers, um, this one isn't like the most crazy, most like amazing lash enhancer. I would say it's more like a, like a, maybe a seven out of 10. But in terms of what it is with the ingredients and that, that sensitivity factor kind of built into it, definitely think it's a good product. And it kind of hits that little niche in the market where I feel like people with sensitive eyes and like they, that needed that option, that they didn't really have it, at least not a good one. And this is definitely a good option. Again, if you have sensitive eyes and you're looking for it, um, I would say that this is definitely worth giving a shot, you know, while it's on sale, seeing if you can get it to work for you. Um, but also keep in mind too, that like lash foods and brow serums and stuff like that, they are incredibly specific to the person. So something that works for 
me, you might absolutely hate it. And that's just, that's just the way the cookie crumbles on that. But in terms of my experience, it was pretty good. All right, and then the only other thing I wanna mention on this day is the half off Lime Crime Wet Cherry Glosses. They're gonna be $9 versus $18. And I don't know how to say this any other way. Again, I'm not trying to be mean or nothing to anybody who like, I don't know, picked the smell of these, but they smell like the inside of a porta potty, okay? Like the inside, like that weird ass cherry chemical smell. Like whoever thought that was a good idea, like, oh yeah, this definitely doesn't smell like the inside of a porta shitter. Like definitely not, definitely doesn't smell like that damn little urinal cake inside where the men are just like aiming when they're drunk at the county fair, just woo, 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 kind of wiggling it all around. Yeah, definitely doesn't smell like that, except it does, okay? I promise you, I wouldn't lead you wrong. And the, the, <laughs> it is so bad. Okay, let me put it this way. I purchased what? Like I said, six, seven of these. Like I purchased a fair amount when they first launched, various colors, all the good things. And when they got here, I literally cracked one and went, oh, <clears throat> like I thought it was bad. Okay, I was like, oh, no way. Cracked all of them, realized they all smelled the same and went, oh, joy. <sighs> and I tried to put one on, okay, tried to wear it, had to wipe it off, took all the glosses, tucked them into my drawer, and that was the end, okay? That was the beginning and the end because I couldn't use them because they smelled that bad, and it wasn't even a smell that, like, dissipated, okay? It didn't go away, and I cannot, okay? I just, I can't do it. And I'm well aware that, by the way, this could just be a me thing. Like, maybe it's just, like, I only smell it that way. Maybe other people love it. Maybe some people aren't even bothered, and that is totally fine, okay? But for me, <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> no, thank you. Could never, could never in good conscience recommend that to you. But also to the flip side of that, I am going to be honest. Like if the smell doesn't bother you, the shine is on point. Okay. They are beautiful. Um, just in the looks, but just like whatever you do, don't sniff. Like don't use your nose all damn day and you'll be fine because <laughs> they, they stink. All right. Now moving on to Wednesday, September 2nd. For me, there's really nothing here. Um, I, I think that if you were looking on this day, the only thing, um, that I can personally speak to anyways is the KKW eyeshadow palettes. They're going to be on sale from $15 to $22.50. And I do think that her shadow formula is really nice. It works well. Uh, I think I have maybe one or two of her shadow palettes and I've never had any issues, but it's nothing like specifically that I would seek out for the sale, like to make sure that I purchased it or anything. But uh, if you were looking at them, the quality is nice. All right, now moving from there to Thursday, September 3rd, I will tell you right now, okay, right this damn second. Do you see these arms? They are just flailing all over because I want one of these little buxom lipsticks. This is their full force lipstick. It says it's in select colors that are going to be on sale and they will retail for $10 instead of 20 and I want one Okay, I want one so bad because I love Buxom. I love their lip stuff and this lipstick has looked appealing to me from the very beginning Okay from the moment that they launched it and I told myself no I told myself I couldn't have it till it went on sale and damn it It's gonna be on sale and I want to buy one honestly don't even ask me about color Okay, cuz I haven't decided um, I haven't decided do I want like a deep plummy purple for fall? Am I kind of am I kind of feeling that kind of way? Am I kind of feeling maybe like a brown nude? because I love a brown nude. I really don't know, okay? I just, I haven't gotten that far, but all I know is that I want one because I've wanted one for so long and the packaging is adorable and I just, I want one. So I'm, I'm gonna get one. Oh yes, and then also on that day, the Stila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows, they're gonna be on sale for $12, regularly $24. And uh, these are really good. The formula of them is nice. They have a good staying power. I, I think at this point I've probably owned um, most, if not all of the colors they've ever come out with. And for the most part, the Glitter and Glows are very consistent, again, whether it's uh, the actual consistency, the long wearing, all of that. Um, they just, they work really well. They look beautiful on the eyes. They are really good to have around, whether you're wanting them to be, you know, like a light dusting on your lids, or if you're wanting to use them as the focal point of your eyeshadow, it really doesn't matter. Uh, Cause they just, they work really well either way. So, you know, just something to keep in mind, 12 bucks, that's a really good price. And they just, they're, they're a really good product to have around. Now from there, moving into Friday, September 4th, this is going to be the Lancome Monsoor Big Mascara retailing for $12.50 that day normally $25. And this is a good mascara. I've used it myself several times. I've purchased it several times. Uh, but for me, the only issue I keep having with it, and it seems to be a more consistent issue with me than the mascara itself, but uh, this one does flake on me. So it's not something that I can wear alone. And for that reason, you know, I wouldn't purchase it again. I wouldn't pick it up during the sale. If you are someone that's looking for a decent, you know, nice voluptuous kind of volumizing, slight lengthening mascara, this is a really good one. It'll give you that nice noticeable lash. So just something to point out.
out. And then also on that same day, the makeup eraser is going to be on sale. They'll be $10. Normally they're $20. And for those of you that don't know what the makeup eraser is, I highly encourage you to check it out. But essentially it's a piece of uh, material that's about this big and it can remove all of your makeup, you know, eyes, face, all of it with just water. You don't have to have a cleanser. You don't have to have a balm, anything like that. Um, for me personally, I do prefer to have those just because it makes the process go quicker. But I personally feel like the magic of the makeup eraser is just with how gentle it is on your skin. It doesn't um, pull. It doesn't scratch it. It's just a really nice soft material. And when I use, you know, my normal balm or my cleansing oil along with one of these, it just makes the process go so much quicker. It's so nice. It's so soft. And I just, yeah, I, I really enjoy it. So I always like to give them a shout out. Again, a fantastic, fantastic product and something that if I get there in time, because <laughs> these sell out very, very quickly, uh, but something that again, if I get there in time, I would definitely pick up at least one or two of these. All right. So moving on from there to Saturday, September 5th, we have a diamond or a platinum exclusive, and that is half off of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and it will be on sale for $13.50, normally $27. For anybody who might be new to makeup or new to the beauty realm in general, um, Tarte Shape Tape, like this concealer specifically, it took the entire community by storm, I want to say, maybe like three or four years ago, as a very full coverage, very matte, like long-lasting concealer. And it is a really good concealer. I've used it for a long time, and for a very long time, it was actually my cult classic. It was the only thing I would reach for. But I will say that in recent years, you know, especially as I've started to age, my, my skin has shifted more combo leaning oily. Um, the Tarte Shape Concealer for me is just a little bit too matte. And so even though it is a great concealer, again, great coverage, great consistency, all of those things, um, when, when I started using it, now it does pull just a freckle too matte for me. So I have to be a little bit more careful when and how I use it. For anybody out there that might be looking for that, you know, that more mattified consistency, you don't mind that dry down, maybe you have super oily skin. This is definitely something to consider if you haven't yet. All right, now moving into the following week, Sunday, September 6th, uh, I really don't have much of anything that I can speak on in this category aside from the ABH Foundation, their Luminous Foundation, which is going to be on sale for $19, normally $38. And this isn't a bad foundation. I have worn it before, uh, especially when it first launched. I wore it a lot, actually. It looked really beautiful on my skin. And I feel like in terms of all foundations, this does carry with it more of what I would say is like a medium luminosity. Like it's not, um, it's not like Fenty hydrating foundation, which is really, really hydrating, but it's also not, you know, like by any means like a matte or even a skin like, like it's, it's somewhere between skin like and satin up to dewy, like it's right in there. And so for that reason, as someone that has combo skin, I do really enjoy the finish, but on my skin, it isn't the most long wearing. So, you know, for me, it just kind of straddles that in between line now that my skin has really started to change. I just personally started having issues with the wear time on it. But again, that's more of like a me thing, not a foundation thing. So just want to mention it. It is a really pretty foundation. Moving on to Monday, September 7th. There's really not too much here that I would touch on. Um, I think that some of the products are nice, like the, the Too Faced Natural Palettes. Those are pretty. Um, but there's nothing on here really that I would even like recommend purchasing because I, I don't know. I, I just feel like, you know, I've tried it, but I haven't been overly wowed by any of it, which that then puts us on to Tuesday, September 8th. And I just want to mention, um, it looks like there's going to be half off of the Lily lashes and it's going to include a few various options. And I don't wear a lot of false lashes, but when I did like way back when, back before my eyes were super irritated, um, I really did love Lily lashes. I had a ton of them. And so if there are any profiles in this collection that you really like, I just wanted to mention that uh, Lily lash as far as quality, it is very, very nice. And also on that same day, I'm just going to throw this out there. Um, they're going to have half off of the Lancome Skin Feels Good Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer for $17.50. And, you know, everybody's experience is different, but I just want you to know from my perspective, I absolutely unequivocally hate, okay, I hate this tinted moisturizer. It is absolutely awful. It looked bad on my skin. It made me itch. Just for whatever reason, it didn't work for me. I just wanted to share that with you uh, because it's not worth purchasing, in my opinion, at all. I absolutely hated it. All right, so that moves us on to uh, Wednesday, September 9th. And on this day, there are a couple of individual products from MAC and from Becca. But the main thing I want to zero in on is that there's going to be half off of women-founded brands. And it looks like there's a few items from each of these brands. Like, for example, there's the Beauty Bakery Setting Powder. There's the Uoma Say What Foundation. The Petite and Pretty Volumizing Mascara. And again, the list goes on. I think it looks like there's a total of about 15-ish products, um, all from women-owned 
own brand. So, you know, if you wanted to check that out, that's definitely something to consider. All right, so at that point, we move on to Thursday, September 10th. And I just wanna put it out there. This is gonna be the hottest item of the day. And that is the Cover FX Blush and Bronzer Duos. You guys, these things are absolutely fantastic if you have not checked them out yet. Um, they are gonna be on sale for $19. When I tell you that these are so worth it, not only in like quality and consistency and the way they apply, the way that they look, all of those things, uh, but they're also really worth it just in terms of the amount of product you get and ultimately how long like this blush duo is going to last. It is insane. And also just as a fun little side fact, I'm currently wearing this shade today. This is Mojave Mauve and it's just the most beautiful, adorable pink shade. I really, really love this. And then uh, my other favorite shade is pink. What is this? Pink Dahlia. And I love, love this color. This one's probably my favorite out of all the shades because it just, I feel like it, it you can really use it on any look, whether you're wanting a lighter makeup look, a more glam, it doesn't matter because it always gives you that perfect little like pinched cheek vibe and it's very buildable, very workable. Again, you can play around. It has one matte side, one shimmer. You can mix and match. You can do one or the other and just overall the consistency of these is fantastic. So I, I highly recommend them 10 out of 10. Um, again, mine never leave like this immediate thing in front of me where I do my makeup because I find myself reaching for them over and over again because the consistency and the duality of it is on point no matter what you're looking for. So highly recommend those. And then also on that day, there's going to be half off of three different moisturizers. And one of them is the Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel. And I just want to throw this out there. If you're someone that you like a water gel, you have more oily skin. And instead of like a thick cream moisturizer, you prefer that hydrogel that, that um, like sink into the skin, no creamy finish type uh, moisturizer. That is a really good one. I've used it several times, went through several bottles of it. And it really does just do a good job at giving your skin like all that hydration and your skin gets to really feel plump, like it has everything it needs, uh, but without, you know, uh, affecting like the finish of it, making your skin more oily, making it feel oily. Uh, it's just, it's a really good moisturizer. So I wanted to mention that. I think it's going to be on sale for $30 instead of 60. So it's definitely a good savings. But also just as a side note, I want to mention if you're looking for a hydrogel and you're at the drugstore, L'Oreal makes one. It's their L'Oreal Hydrogenius, I want to say. I'll link it down below. But that one is available at like Meyer Drugstore, that type of situation. And I want to say it's right around like the 17-ish dollar mark. So it's, you know, even more affordable than that. Um, and, and it's really good. I've used that one a ton. It's probably my favorite hydrogel. I wanted to throw that out there. You know, if you're looking for a hydrogel that I highly recommend, it is my favorite. Um, the one from L'Oreal is fantastic. But if you were looking at the one from Murad, that one's really good too. All right, now moving on to Friday, September 11th, there's going to be half off of the Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencils. And those are going to retail for $11. And I just want to mention, those are actually a really, really good eye pencil. I don't have the longest staying power power for me in terms of, you know, like how long they stay on my waterline, but I also have very watery eyes that are super finicky. So, you know, I don't, I don't think that's a hundred percent the fault of the pencil, but you know, just something to note. I do think that if you have a more, you know, like normal quote unquote waterline that these are really good. It comes in a ton of colors and for $11, I highly recommend, I've recommended them for years. Again, they are very, very good. And the other item that's for sale that day, the philosophy ultimate miracle worker with SPF 30. Um, I can't speak to that cause I've never used it. So <laughs> I guess that's the tea on that. Um, moving on to September 12th, Saturday, September 12th. Uh, there's really nothing on that day. It looks like there's half off of some Kylie lip kits and I don't buy those because A, I don't need them and B, uh, if they're her liquid lips, they are way too drying for me. They're exactly like the ColourPop formula, which is way too much. And it looks like there's something from Mario Badescu and something from It Cosmetics. Neither of those are my thing either. And that leads us into Sunday, September 13th. And there's really nothing on this day that I feel like, you know, super energetic about. Um, the only thing on here that I really have any opinions on at all is the uh, half off Too Faced Hangover Primer and Setting Spray. And if you are in the market for a good hydrating primer or setting spray, they are very nice. Something to keep in mind with these is that they are both infused with coconut water. So if you have any allergies to that, you might want to stay clear. Uh, but just in terms of, you know, their overall like hydration quality, they are very good, very smoothing on the skin. Um, I personally never had any issues with them. They work fine. But uh, in terms of like this sale or even what they do specifically, I have other items that I prefer more than those. I also know there's a lot of people out there that really love them. So I still wanted to mention them just so you know, if this is your product, if you've been waiting for it to go on sale, it's going to be on sale uh, again, $16.50 or $17.50, depending on the item. And that is Sunday, September 13th. From there, jumping over to Monday, September 14th, my favorite item, the thing that I purchased myself time and time again, would be the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liners. What I really like about these, uh, for me anyways, is kind of 
the duality because I'm the type of person that reaches more for a lip liner and a gloss type combo more so than a lipstick and a lot of times what that means is you know taking the lip liner and really filling in your lips to get any sort of color and then putting a gloss over top and with these because they're already such a thick fat pencil you don't have to you know go in there and be super precise you don't have to fill it in because it's already so large you just naturally get you know so much color it's very nice the consistency is fantastic and you pop a gloss over this and it is beautiful you have you know the nice flush of color you have the definition from the liner and overall just the colors and the consistency from these are on point and it's just there's something that I've reached for time after time year after year for probably the last oh man I would say at least three or four years I've been wearing these and I really enjoy them again quality consistency they're right on point fantastic fantastic product and I also know there's uh, quite a few of you out there that really like the Ofra liquid lipsticks and the Ofra glosses and I just want to mention it looks like there's going to be a few shades uh the Ofra cosmetics nude lip set is going to be it's that's three nude liquid lipsticks and that's going to be on sale for half off so $25 for three nude shades um, versus $50 normally for the set and then also their lip glosses that are normally $15 there's six of those shades that will also be half off and then that moves us into Tuesday September 15th and on this day there's not really much that catches my eye um, I, I would say you know a lot of people really do love and recommend the cover FX setting powder those are going to be on sale for $17.50 for me personally I've tried them they're not my favorite I don't really think that they're anything special uh, but I do know that that's something a lot of other people like I've heard them say oh it's super smoothing it looks amazing on my under eye uh, but, but for me that's never been the case they've always looked really weird um, almost like dry and crepey on my under eye so you know it's kind of a to each their own you can test it you cannot but just FYI it'll be on sale and then also along those same lines they are going to have the benefit boing cakeless concealer and I wanted to mention this because I actually used it today when I got ready because I saw it on sale and I used it today in the shade n number one and this concealer I did purchase myself I bought it a long time ago back when it first launched to test out on here in terms of what I buy it would I not you know if, if I was just me looking at this sale I would say for $11 it's not a bad concealer it's nothing I'm personally going to purchase from the sale but again for $11 it's not a bad choice uh, I think the main thing with this one to consider is the consistency because it is much more thin in viscosity um, than a lot of other concealers that I would typically reach for but again in terms of you know coverage it's decent in terms of the settling and the wear and all of that it does work but there's just really nothing about it that like jumps out at me as like wow you know that's amazing it was super smoothing it was this it was that um, I just think it's a good like it's a good baseline concealer I guess really to sum it up there's nothing super awful there's nothing super awesome and for $11 you know you can kind of weigh out your cards there but you know those are just kind of my thoughts okay so then that pushes us to Wednesday September 16th and on this day for me there's not anything that really jumps out in terms of like recommending or not recommending um, but in terms of things that like I personally wanted to test I am kind of intrigued and I would love to hear from you guys if you've tested it if you like it uh, but I'm very curious about the Smashbox vitamin glow primer because I've heard good things about it I've heard that it looks beautiful on the skin so again if you have any thoughts regardless of skin type I would love to hear from you because I'm, I'm kind of debating it I think I think it's gonna be on sale for yeah it looks like 1950 and uh, I'm, I'm very intrigued I want to test it out so from there we jump over to Thursday September 17th and there's gonna be half off of the Tarte lights camera lashes those are gonna be on sale there's two different mascaras on sale for 1150 and those mascaras are fine mascaras again I think they're very middle of the road very you know okay in my opinion um, they give you medium volume medium length nothing overly exaggerated for me I would say that those are more middle of the road you know you're kind of getting the feel for mascara you're not really sure what you're looking for um, or maybe you don't want anything too over exaggerated you just want like normal lashes this for me would be that mascara it's just very middle of the road all right so now at this point we have two days left of the sale we are at Friday September 18th and on this day you have a few, it looks like four different things for sale but the most important and the one that I would care myself about personally would be the Benefit Cosmetics box O powders and that is the Hula bronzers the little individual boxes for anyone that's looking for those that is the individual blushes and of course most importantly that would be the cookie highlight individually it is going to be on sale for $15 and you guys this freaking highlight is absolutely stunning and I highly highly recommend it I currently in my collection still only have it in the large like face palette that they originally released it in but if you are looking for a blinding beautiful silky sexy ass highlight that will just send you to the moon and back okay it is this cookie highlight because it's oh my gosh you guys the formula is 
so freaking good. Everybody loves it for a reason because, well, at least, I shouldn't say everybody, but most everybody loves it for a reason because it is so beautiful on the skin. And then also along those same lines, the Tickle Powder Highlight is also going to be on sale. And that is the other highlight that they released alongside Cookie. Overarching difference is that the one from Tickle is a pink-based highlight as opposed to the Cookie one, which is more of just like a champagne-y kind of color. And the pink tone is just not something that I really reach for personally. I just wanted to mention it because again, it's okay to look for like the, the blushes and the bronzers and all of that, but bitch, if you overlook that highlight, I can't help you, okay? I cannot help you because those are freaking gorgeous, okay? Just, just throwing it out there, they're great. Okay, and then at that point, we have moved on to Saturday, September 19th. That is the final day of the sale, and it looks like everything on this day that's for sale is from It Cosmetics. Um, the first thing is their It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, okay, I don't like, <laughs> hear me when I say this, I do not like any, okay, of those god-awful foundation squeezy things from, from It Cosmetics. And I have tried literally every single version, okay? Regular, mattifying, illuminating, whatever. They all look like absolute shit fire hot trash garbage on my skin and none of them ever work for me. But just as a side note, again, if you are new here, um, as of recent, It Cosmetics did come out with their Your Skin But Better foundation and skincare. And I have been using this a lot. I have a full video on it, which I will link right up here. And I have been wearing this. I really do enjoy it. Again, it's the only foundation from It Cosmetics that I like. Anyways, aside from that foundation being on sale, they're also gonna have half off of their It Brushes for Ulta Brush Bath. And this is like a little, like a, um, a brush cleaner sprayer that you can get. It's gonna be on sale for $9.75. And this is something I did use a long time ago, like back, like right when I first started my channel. And it's actually a pretty decent uh, little brush cleaner. Again, I've used it, I like it. And I would never pay, what is it, $19.50 full price. But for $9.75 to have, I do think it's pretty Pretty good. Um, if memory serves, because I haven't bought this in a long time, but if memory serves, this does have a stronger scent to it. So just something to keep in mind. It's it's pretty common for these instant brush cleaners to have a strong scent. Again, just something to mention. It is good, and for $9.75, I think I think it's pretty decent. And then the final thing on that day that's on sale from It Cosmetics is their Airbrush Full Coverage Complexion Brush, number 77. And this brush for me is just it's not it. Like it's nothing that I would reach for. I don't really like the density. I don't like that it has like this weird slant to it. And even though it's going to be on sale for $14, like I just, I don't know, it's not, it's not something I like, there's probably 10 other brushes I would reach for before I would reach for that one. So I, I would never tell you to pick it up just because it's on sale because I don't think you need it. All right, you guys, with that, we are officially at the end of the video. Those are all the items. Again, we went through day by day. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Is there anything you're looking to pick up? What do you think of the sale overall? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's shitty? Um, like they could have done better. Just, just overall, what are your guys' thoughts and opinions? And of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. Please go follow me over on Instagram. Everything will be linked down below, um, including what I am wearing today, all of the items that are on my face, and uh, just everything I can think of that might be applicable. I will link it down in the description box for you. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching, and I hope you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!